As shown in this computer-aided simulation, once the bridge deck and beams are demolished, the damaged bridge piers can be dismantled and removed. This requires carefully separating the pier from the footing, then removing the footing from the four-pile cluster below. Construction cranes are used to load the damaged components to a disposal barge. For safety, the old piles are cut off at the mud line at the bottom of the bay. This prevents them from becoming navigational hazards. The damaged piers are transported off-site for processing and disposal, while a second barge delivers new trophy pieces from the Bayou Chico casting yard. Trophy pieces consist of a waterline footer, a column, and a pier cap. They're nicknamed trophy pieces because they resemble an athletic trophy. Unlike their predecessors, the new footings for these trophy pieces are designed to accommodate a six-pile configuration so they avoid conflict with the old pilings. Replacement piles are driven, taking care to avoid remnants of the old piles at the mud line. The new trophy pieces are then installed atop a new six-pile cluster and fully connected using high-strength concrete. They are then ready to support the precast concrete beams and the cast-in-place bridge deck. The Florida Department of Transportation estimates completing the Pensacola Bay Bridge repairs and restoring four lanes of traffic in March 2021. To keep citizens informed on bridge repair progress, the department has established this website. It is regularly updated with the latest repair news and information.